Hey guys, how you doing? So, ran across this interesting little uh, piece of information here that I, I thought you guys might find interesting. So this is um, from the U.S. source, U.S. Bureau of Labor Stats. So this is what all the nerds, the economic nerds in the U.S. government are looking at. So, wanted the most in-demand jobs of the next decade. Occupations with the highest projected change in employment in the U.S. between 2022 and 2032. I'm putting out this video because I want to address a couple of issues. So number one, you see the top one here. So the top one here, home, health, and personal care aids. This basically, this is because all the boomers are getting very old and they're very unhealthy because of unhealthy diets, not exercising. So if you take anything away from this video, hey man, cut down your body fat percentage. If you're a man, cut it down under 20%, eat healthy natural foods. Anyway, let's go to the second one. Software developers, look at that. They're expecting, it's the second biggest growth in the job market over the next 10 years or so. So I remember all the gloomers are like, ah, ah, no jobs in software development. That's not true. It's just not true. There's a lack of people. You just got to have to be good. Anyway, so there you go. If you were worried about whether there was going to be software development jobs, according to the U.S. Uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics, they do not think, they do not agree with that, uh, the assertion by young nerdlings that there won't be jobs. There be plenty of jobs. If you don't want to become a software developer, a developer, I guess you can become a restaurant cook if you want, or maybe become a nurse you go down or you go way at the bottom there, light truck drivers, perhaps. So anyway, there you go. All joking aside, as you can see, uh, the U.S. government and all the projections, they believe that there's going to be a big growth in software development uh, over the next decade. In fact, it's the second most important uh, of the professions out there, right after home health and personal care. So going back to home health and personal care aids, Get in shape, man. Get in shape. It's uh, I'm older than you guys probably, and I can tell you, if you build muscle mass, you eat natural foods, implement intermittent fasting, you exercise on a regular basis, lift heavy weights, um, your cognitive capacity will increase, and you also feel much better. You have much more energy. You'll be you'll be ready for the fight. So there you go. That's my that's my video. I hope you found this useful. I'm Uncle Steph. There's an old expression. If only I knew then what I know now. Any older person can identify with this, understands this very clearly. If I could go back, see, I'm Uncle Steph right now. If I could go back and talk to young Cousin Steph and say, Cousin Steph, do this, don't do that. Do this, don't do that. Okay, that's good, but mm, do this instead. If I could guide young cousin Steph in a proper direction, young cousin Steph would have been made better decisions, right? Don't, don't cry for me. I'm doing okay. As you get older, things that were not obvious to you when you're young become extremely obvious. And you go, oh, if only I did that. Anyway, that's why I do these videos. I'm transferring my decades of experience to you guys. There you go. Cheers. Bye-bye.